Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss The Princess Bride, starring Carrie Always, Robin Wright, Mandy Padding Paddington, excuse me if I said that wrong, Chris Sarandon, Christopher Guest, Wallace Shawn, and Andre the Giant, directed by Rob Reiner. Now, I've seen this movie many, many times over the years, and I've seen this as a Fathom event one year for my, I think it was Mother's Day with my mother all those years ago. And it was requested by someone that I know of, and I'm not going to say their names because that I want to protect. Uh, it's for protection reasons, I'll say at best. So let's see if this exceeds their expectations. So let's get into this movie. We open with a sick with a fever young boy named played by Fred Savage playing a baseball vi video game as his mother comes in and his grandfather, played by Peter Falk, reading him a book called The Princess Bride, which is written by S. Morgenstern. Not in real life, but anyways. We start the story with Buttercup, played by Robin Wright, in her introduction role in the Hollywood calling her from farm boy Wesley, played by Carrie Elways, as she gives him orders and he says, as you wish, every single time, as he's in love with her, and he starts falling in love with him, and they get married, and he's called from the king to fight in a war, as their, true, as their love is true love, and I really like how this is told by the grandfather, and this is working great thus far, and it's working so much better than what Frozen did, which was getting married on the day they met, Anyways, let's move on. After Wesley dies, Buttercup says she'll never marry again until five years later. Prince Humperdinck, I think I said that right, played by Chris Sarandon, calls her Princess Bride, the Princess Bride, his Princess Bride. My goodness. But one problem is she's not in love with him. As she goes for a ride on a horse and gets kidnapped by Inigo Montoya, played by Mandy Patinkin. I don't know if I said that wrong, please forgive me whom I swear looked like a heck of a lot like a young Paul Rudd. But he with Visiny, played by Wallace Shawn, who was the voice of Rex in the Toy Story films, and Fezzik, played by Andre the Giant, as they take her to their ship, as one man is following them from behind while having captured Buttercup, as she does briefly escape by water as an eel approaches her and almost kills her until he gets her out of the water. Fezzik gets her back on the boat, and the acting is pretty good as the dialogue is genius. As there were times the lines were unintentionally funny, and that's what it is. This is a, that's what makes this movie great, in my opinion. Inigo, Vizimi, and Fezzik climb up the rope after getting her off the ship, or getting off the ship, let me rephrase that, as a masked man is following behind them, and Vizimi cuts the rope, and thinking they got away... But, with Buttercup, with Buttercup, but Inigo brings down the rope and fights with the masked man with a sword fight. While he lets the masked man win, and Fezzik fights by fist, and the masked man, and with the masked man, and he lets him win also. And he catches up with Vizini, and the masked man poisons both drinks. While Visini looks back, and so does the masked man, as Visini fools him by switching drinks, and Visini drinks the poison drink as he dies. And the masked man wins this fight, and kudos to director Rob Reiner for making a medieval times along with a princess, and at the same time putting a sense of humor in this movie, as this is great writing by William Goldman, whom I reviewed his work before in that god-awful Stephen King's um, adaptation, Dreamcatcher. With Buttercup saved, the masked man releases her, and they run from the prince, and she thinks he will save her, and she says he killed Wesley, and describes him as well as well, a well-mannered man, and tells her how he died, and he tells her how he dies, let me rephrase that, and says she says he can die again as the masked man says his line to Buttercup, as you wish, and she realizes it's Wesley, as his mask has been taken off, and I really like these characters, and they're having a sense of humor. Buttercup and Wesley go in a cave with some deadly traps, and Buttercup walks in some quick mud, and 
as a giant creature that I swear looked like a giant rat coming in. And Buttercup and Wesley get out of the quick mud and gets out of the cave while the giant rat attacks Wesley while Buttercup just stands there and watches him beat up, beat it up. And I thought I'd do some, I, and I'm thinking to myself, do something for crying out loud until she grabs a stick and Wesley rolls it over to some fire and stabs the rodent to death. And that was a good piece of action, but the effects might need an improvement. But I won't critique as that was the movie late in the made in the late 1980s. Buttercup and Wesley almost get the, to the castle, and the prince's men, aka, well, yeah, anyways, approaches them. And Buttercup, well, I'm gonna just call this guy the prince for the rest of the show, and I'm talking about the the bad guy. Well, let's move on. Spoiler alert. And Buttercup decides to surrender, and they take him back to the castle as Wesley is captured and tortured by Count Rugen, played by Christopher Guest. While Buttercup dreams she becomes the queen while an elderly woman, woman excuse me, booed her because of not marrying Wesley, as she wakes up ten days before the wedding between Buttercup and the prince. That's his name. I'm going to just call him the prince for the rest of the show. And Buttercup tells the prince she loves Wesley to call off the wedding or else she'll be dead, and the prince lies by saying he will give them the message, and if they don't, then she'll die by their wedding day. And the prince is upset to the point he tortured Wesley at a minimum, and I'm enjoying this movie as it's very entertaining. Fezzik and Inigo have been reunited as Fezzik beats up his on his new master while Inigo is being a vagrant, and he wants to look back, look for the masked man, to kill him while Buttercup asks about if the prince sent her the message to Wesley and never did and says Wesley will come for her and he wants to go after her on the day before their wedding day and Count Rugen tortures Wesley full power and Inigo and Fezzik hear the masked man screams and Inigo finds his sword and leads him to the castle and sees Wesley dead and takes him to Miracle Max played briefly by Billy Crystal to heal him, and he resurrects him, and briefly, well, make something to resurrect him, let me rephrase that, and his wife Valerie tells him he said true love is as the reason to be resurrected, and this works absolutely great, as this is a great movie, and as it's a great time at the movies. The, they give Wesley a miracle pill, and, or the miracle pill, let me rephrase that, and they drag his body to the castle, and he takes the pill, and wakes up and tells him the plan to break up the wedding between Buttercup and the prince. As it starts, they barge in while the priest talks disguising Fezzik as a ghost and sets it on fire. And the prince looks for the three men breaking in and have a fight with every single one of the guards. And Inigo approaches the prince as he killed his father and he runs like a coward like he is. And an ego catches up with him, and an ego gets knifed by in the stomach as by the prince. As an ego gets up and have a sword, has a sword fight with, gets him stabbed quite a bit a few times, repeating the line, "My name is an ego Montoya, and you killed my father. Prepare to die." And he kills the prince while Wesley catches up with Buttercup while his bones are weak. And Count Rugen comes in for the killing of Wesley, and Wesley tells him to what's going to happen to him and the acting is well done and something i didn't bring up at the beginning of the show i like these characters a lot as buttercup and wesley have quite the chemistry and they tie up count rugen and fezzik bringing four horses to buttercup wesley inigo and himself as they ride together in freedom and wesley and buttercup and as they live happily ever after and the book is done by reading being read by the grandfather and the grandson Fred Savage goes to sleep and asks the grandfather if he could come over and read it again the next day as the climax was a heck of a lot of fun as it is a great movie that will be beloved for a long time to even this day. Now it's time for my rating. I'll give this movie a 8.5 out of 10. I do like these characters as they're very humorous as Wesley and Buttercup have such great chemistry and the movie has a sense of humor while this is a great this is greatly written by William Goldman, and kudos to director Rob Reiner for making medieval times with the, while having a princess, and and at the same time giving it some some humor. 
The movie has some good action with effects that may need an improvement, but I won't critique because that I really enjoyed this movie as it's entertaining me from start to finish. This is a great movie as it's a great time at the movies, and there's a good reason this movie is beloved to even this day. And this is a solid recommendation, and there's a very good reason this movie will be remembered to this day, as it feels, as it tells a very good fairy tale. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for this review, and until then, all hail the princess.